everybody. Today, got a little package in Amazon mail. And uh, let's open it up and show what we're gonna be working on. Today is gonna be, look how I got my fire extinguisher. That is the second mount I have bought. The first mount lasted, I don't know, maybe 10 months. And I bought another one and put it on and it broke for the first trip. So I'm working, let's see, what are the mount? I'm kind of curious on how, how it's gonna go. That's what it looks like. It's gonna mount on flush. I think it's a two piece. Because part of it's gonna stay on the fire extinguisher. All you gotta do is pull the pull the pin up right here. Well, let me get this and we've got some clamps. It's kind of windy out here. Alright. Like I said, it comes in two pieces. I'm gonna mount this piece and it's gonna have the little pin sticking up. This, you mount it with the clamps on um, the fire extinguisher. See, it's got the little slot. You put it right in the pin, pull the pin up, slide right in there, boom, locked in place. You want your fire extinguisher out, pull up the pin, of course, it's gonna be easier when it's mounted and it comes right out. Now, this uh, I seen this and uh, it's actually made for like side by sides and stuff like that, where you can, where you mount them around and everything, which uh, I seen in the picture. But this is gonna work, I believe, perfect in the truck, and it's it's not plastic, it's not cheap made. Uh, I will put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But now we're going to take that junk off, take two bolts, mount it in there, put this on the fire extinguisher, and I believe that's going to cause all of my problems to go away with this fire extinguisher. All right, got my snips out, got my cut my bungees. I tell you what, DLT might not like that, but them bungee, they, uh, I mean, uh, zip ties. They done what it's supposed to do. You out there on, on the road and you ain't got no other way to, to get it fixed. But we're gonna take them two bolts out and then we're gonna have to come over here. The way I've got mine mounted is I'm gonna take my mud flap off and then the interferer is gonna have to come off to be able to get my hands up in here to put the bolts on. So uh, I'm gonna get started on doing that. All right, got the mud flap off now. Now all we gotta do is just take these bolts right here loose and then we're gonna pull this out. We've got two right there and then we should be able to get our hands up underneath there. All right. We done got all that out and we done got the old part out. And I don't know why they make them things so junky. That right there broke. That is twice it broke in half but the bad thing about it is i'm going to, have to drill one more hole in my truck i was hoping it lined up i had made the one boat hole a little bit bigger already because i got that's what kind of boat it was in it and that's what i'm putting back in at grade a i don't want nothing i don't want to ever had no more problems with this again so i'm gonna mark the other hole and drill it and uh, see if I can't get it lined up and drill the other hole. All right, I got the one bolt in and uh, I'm having to do it by myself. My sandwich maker had to go to the doctor. So no sandwich maker, no camera holder, no bolt holder. I got the level on it. So I'm supposed to go and drill the other hole right over there. And, get the other one in. Uh, so far, I think I'm gonna like this mount. Um, it's a whole lot sturdier than the other one. Once I get these uh, bolts in, I've got a washer, lock washer, bolt on the other side. 
she ain't gonna go nowhere. She will to ride. And I'm definitely gonna give y'all updates on this. And I had to give a shout out to Sea Farmer. He's the one that found these on Amazon. And I know he's putting one in today too. Y'all to go check his video out. He's building one on the Chevy. Uh, but I'm really gonna like his mounts. Alrighty. Now, they come with four. I don't think I'm gonna need four. I think I'm gonna use two, save two up just in case. And put two on this to be able to latch it in, figure out how I want it to, want it to go. Then uh, put the clamps through it. Use the uh, Milwaukee. I tell you what, this right here is, has been a lifesaver. If y'all don't have one, I know Christmas is coming up. Y'all need to think about investing one of these. <laughs> the three eighths. I just love it. I use it all the time. When I want something a little bit stronger, it's like I'm gonna just use these on these clamps. But uh, if you see all this white stuff on my on my tailgate, my wife, uh, we got a real Christmas tree a while ago. And she bought the biggest stand I've ever seen for a Christmas tree in my life. And it was kind of funny because I'm sitting there thinking, you got these big long boats you got to wheel in or, or a Christmas tree. Probably wasn't, it wasn't even bigger around as, as that. I was like, golly. So I took my, my half inch drive one, just like this, but the half inch, and put a big socket on it, stuck it on them boats. And took it all in and barely just barely but it, it worked and it it turned out it's gonna be our our first live christmas tree i think we've ever had we've always had the fake ones we wanted to go with a live one this year christmas times are coming that's for sure but uh uh well i'm just gonna see which direction i want to leave in and put these on all right what i'm doing here I'm just taking two of the clamps and I'm running them all the way out. And then, because I want this so DLT can see it to be facing out like that. So I'm thinking, I'm going to put this on right in here. And then we're going to take and put the clamps on. All right, so what I'm thinking is make sure I have it to where I want it. And take these clamps and put them right back together. Actually, I didn't even have to take the clamps loose. I don't, I don't look like. Let's just do it this way then. That's why they give me two. Look, right in there. That's why they give me two. You know, I was gonna goof up one of them. That's good people looking out for, for me. Look at that. That's gonna slide on just like that. Get this other one. And that's gonna go on just like that. Now I'm gonna take this over and see about where I wanted that before I tighten them up. We're gonna to try to push this up a little bit. I'm gonna take our ace drive. Tighten them up. Well, let's see if it fits. All righty. Let's see if I got it. Now see, it's got the hook. The hook goes into that pin. Pull up on this, and it goes in. Let's see if we can't get it right. Boom. DLT can see it. It's still out of the way. Can't get hurt on anything. If I want it, pull up, pull out. There it is. Easy attachment, 
<laughs> Boom. This one runs out of date, and they get a new one, take the clamps off, put it back on, and there it is. That is much better than the other ones I've been using. Alrighty, we got a sun here. I guess uh, that is that, I like that. I like the look of it. I like the easy access of it. This ain't got no take no snips and uh, cut any zip ties off of it. But I'll tell you what, if that ever fails, I'm putting zip ties back on. Cause they lasted. Good old American zip ties. Stick them on there and hold your ground. But um, uh, I like it. I like the way it looks. It's not cheap made. It's easy access, easy to change. I mean, I like it all the way around. And of course, if anything, you know, goes wrong with it, tears up, comes apart, I'm definitely gonna let y'all know. Y'all will be the third person to know. Me being the first, my wife being the second because Amazon can be delivering something different. And then let y'all know on the next one. But I think this one's gonna last. I don't think this is gonna come off at all. Um, and it's not that, like I said, it's not that hard to put on, but it does not come with boats. Uh, I went and got two grade A boats, lock washers, washers, and nuts. Uh, it did not come with the, the hard wire to mount it. And two boats is what you need, and it comes with everything else. And uh, like I said, shout out to Sea Farmer. He found these on Amazon, and I ordered one. He ordered one. Uh, mm, both of us like how they how they feel, how they're built. Uh, I think it's gonna be on there as long as the truck lasts. Well, alrighty, that's it for this video. And uh, well, actually, I've been thinking about buying a side by side or something like that for me and my wife, a little two seater for me and my wife to go ride around on. And this fire sensor mount kind of got me a little interested in them. If any of y'all out there got any you could recommend. I don't know zero about them. Uh, if any of y'all have got any, wrote any, uh, knows what's good, what to look out for. If y'all don't mind, put it in the comments. Let me know. It kind of helped me out. And because uh, uh, I'm curious, I'm starting to look at them. And uh, I definitely would like to know a little bit what, what y'all think on a little bit of information out there of what different ones, what different kinds, what to stay away from and what y'all recommend. Alrighty, that's gonna wind this up for this video. Y'all have a good one. Y'all be safe out there. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.